Good evening. There was an outburst of anger from family members at the Mass Casualty Commission today. It was directed at the constable, RCMP constable, assigned to deal with families who loved, whose loved ones were killed in the Nova Scotia mass shooting. Heidi Petrachek is covering the inquiry for us and has the details. No, no interruptions, no, please. He's under oath. He's to speak the truth. He's under oath. Yes, he is. Scathing words from the man whose wife and unborn child were killed in Nova Scotia's April 2020 mass shooting, directed at the RCMP constable tasked with communicating with families after the tragedy. No more interruptions, please. That's after Nick Beaton's lawyer pressed RCMP constable Wayne Skipper Bent on statements the family says he made to Beaton after Kristen's murder. You told him that we needed to rule out specifically some sort of relationship between his wife and the perpetrator or some connection between them. Your evidence here today is that you never said anything of the sort. I would have told him that we are looking at everything. What is the relationship as to why he was and wasn't looking at certain people? There's no evidence Kristen Beaton ever knew Gabriel Wartman, the man who murdered both neighbours and strangers in his 13-hour rampage. Bent said he merely meant police were looking at any possible connections Beaton left the inquiry in anger. No, this is enough. This How whole bull bull you know? And to be shot down by the commissioners, not okay. I'm extremely upset by that. While some families have told the commission they had a positive experience with Bent, the daughter of Tom Bagley says, in her opinion, the RCMP's sole family liaison sometimes did more harm than good. We were told uh, that with, for my father's boots, which was a main question I had, that sometimes when people get shot, that their boots fly off. That was one of his responses to me. Ever since the tragedy, families have raised serious concerns over the agonizing delays in getting information about their loved ones during and after the shootings. Bent says he wasn't in charge of official next of kin notifications, but did his best to tell them what he could. Part of the role is to make sure the information is timely and that it's sensitive. How can you do that with so many crime scenes, so many victims with one person? Clearly you need a team um, to suggest that uh, he was content to deal with everything. Well, th we see the fallout. That fallout certainly felt at the inquiry today. The families in attendance today left before Ben's testimony was over, a sign of their frustration. But Ben did say that the RCMP needs to put a policy in place describing just what a family liaison is and what the job entails. He says right now, as far as he knows, there wasn't one then and there isn't one now. Todd. Okay, Heidi Petracek, our reporter at the Mass Casualty Inquiry in Truro.